Well, King Bowser is back at it again, kidnapping Princess Peach and messing with Mario. But what is his ambition beyond marriage? For most of Bowser's consistency, his goals often intertwine making Princess Peach his prize and controlling the Mushroom Kingdom and even beyond. But sometimes his ambitions are extremely low, like trying to enjoy a vacation to capturing fairies. Like what was the point? So what exactly is Bowser after in Super Mario Odyssey that he's trying to get with this huge lavish wedding done to marry Princess Peach? I mean, the last time they got married, this happened. <laughs> well, for a while I thought it was simply that. And then we got a new piece of story after some development of the game, which is Mario's partner Cappy has a sister named Tiara that was kidnapped by Bowser as well to be used as Peach's tiara and wedding headdress. Why is this such a big deal? Mario needs to save Peach and Cappy needs to save Tiara. Seems simple enough, right? But why Tiara? Why is she so pivotal for Bowser to use for Peach that he had to kidnap her? Well, that's why I started to think. You know, despite what people say about Bowser as being an idiot, well, he kind of is a lot of the time, he's still able to pull off some insane stuff all the time. And I think Peach and Tiara are pivotal to his new endgame. While it's no question that Bowser is in love with Princess Peach and wants to win her favor, often forcefully, in the original Super Mario Bros., Bowser kidnaps Peach so she couldn't use her innate magical power to reverse the magic he inflicted on the Mushroom Kingdom by turning its inhabitants into different things, such as bricks. Yeah. So from that we already know that Princess Peach does have some magical power, power that seems to heavily include healing, and power that can be used over others to a huge extent. Now let's ponder something even more. Tiara is Cappy's sister, right? And Cappy has shown to grant Mario the ability to capture, god that's so stupid, or basically possess other objects, living or non-living, to do Mario's bidding. So it wouldn't be too wildly to assume that Tiara has the ability to do the same, yes? But why would Bowser take Tiara and not Cappy? Perhaps other than being a symbol of obvious royalty, it could be possible that Tiara's capture abilities are much greater than that of Cappy's. So great that when used on someone who already has powerful magical abilities that can affect an entire nation, perhaps Bowser is onto something that is incredibly sinister. Could it be that Bowser stole Princess Peach and Tiara and through marriage with Peach adorned with Tiara is said to combine his own power with Peach's and Tiara to try and capture the entire world? Possessing all beings, using Peach's power to magnify Tiara's in an effort to control the entire world to inflict his will on all things? Well then Mr. Bowser, color me impressed. While some details seem to be missing, it could be possible that the wedding items that Mara will be racing against the Brutals to obtain could be paramount to Bowser's machinations in making this a reality. I mean, a Mario game that deals with the whole world and possessing other beings? Don't you think that Bowser's endgame would combine those two elements for his own deeds? It's not like Bowser used a super bell or supplied his minions with super leaves or plotted to create a galaxy. Oh wait, boom. So guys, what do you think about that Super Mario Odyssey theory? If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, favorite, and most importantly, subscribe to HMK for more Nintendo and Super Mario Odyssey content. Until the next one, stay hyped and get hectic, and I will check you guys later.